Are you happy with how much your company pays you? I'll tell you if you're among those who are. That and more news coming up on SyncedIn. Hi everyone, Diana San Juan here filling in for Abby who is off today. Let's get started. We're going to start with an update on a story we've been following. Police have arrested a man suspected of being the Stockton serial killer. Police say 43-year-old Wesley Brownlee was on the hunt for another possible victim when he was arrested over the weekend. He is believed to be tied to shootings that left six men dead and a woman injured, and one of those killed was a man in Oakland. Here's what the Stockton mayor had to say after the arrest. This is a beautiful city. This is a city that each and every one of us call home. And there will not, we will not tolerate any acts of senseless violence. Those will be held accountable and we will use every resource at our disposal to make sure the people of our city are protected and feel safe. The mayor credited residents of Stockton who called in hundreds of tips that eventually led to the arrest. Switching gears now, guys, check this out. A new report from Comparably lists companies where workers feel most satisfied with their pay. Now, this is all based on anonymous employee reviews, and guess what? Seven out of the top 10 are in the Bay Area. Topping off the list is San Jose-based Adobe, where employees are happiest with their pay, benefits, bonuses, equity, and more. At number two is Ring Central in Belmont, and coming in third is Meta in Menlo Park. The top 10 list also includes Google and Mountain View, Medallia and SF, and Chegg and Palo Alto Networks, both in Santa Clara. What do you guys think? All right, guys, there was a little bit of a cool start to the week, but warmer weather is expected to make its way back. Here's meteorologist Carrie Haw with your forecast. Let's talk about this work week weather. As we start out, we're in the low 70s for some of our warmest spots inland, but we also have a disturbance off the coast that's going to bring in more clouds. Once we get the clearing, warmer air comes in as we go through the middle of the week. But then after that, a nice little cool down and for the weekend, it's going to feel like fall. We're talking about highs in some of our warmest areas reaching 70 degrees, but we'll also be watching out for a chance of showers just to our north. And for San Francisco, a lot of fog at times, but it does look like midweek. We get more sunshine and temperatures reaching into the low 70s. And for the weekend, that fog just rolls right back in and we'll see highs in the lower 60s. Make sure to follow Carrie on social media for the latest weather updates. All right, guys, for these and other stories, visit NBCBayArea.com. Thanks for watching.